Hi, how's it going? I'm Enrique, and today we're going to talk about San Diego Comic Con. I'm going to show you the stuff that I got there. <laughs> Every year, one of the biggest comic conventions, if not the biggest comic convention in the world, San Diego Comic Con 2018, that occurred. It's kind of this gathering of fandom, of nerddom. It's kind of overflowing now. I understand that complaint. It is a little too crowded, and I totally get it, but I still love it. I haven't missed a single year since I was 12 years old, So, and I'm going to keep going as long as I can go. But I'm I, what I love doing there is I love buying art books, and I love buying little trinkets and stuff like that. So I'm gonna show you what I bought and I'm gonna show you pretty rapid fire cause I got a bunch of like art books and everything I talk about, I'm either gonna put the link to the artist, a link to the book itself or a link to the, like an Amazon link to the book itself, you know? Because some of these things are like little, you know, little sketchbooks that I don't really know if I can find on Amazon. Uh, so I'm just gonna link as much as I can, but we're gonna go through them. So if you don't know, fast. if you've never been to a con, uh, Artist Alley is a section where artists go and kind of have these small booths and they sell like small sketchbooks so that might not be available on the internet and they might be available on the internet, it depends. Uh, if I find links to these people, I will uh, put them in the description. Now pretty much everybody I talk about, no matter what, I'm gonna put in the description, but Check this out, this one's really cool. This guy's name is Ryan Benjamin. He was a super, super nice guy at his booth. Uh, one thing I really liked about him, he's got a very like, I would say the influences are probably like Jim Lee. Jim Lee's a clear influence, I think. Uh, and other, you know, other comic artists, but he's a great, really efficient artist. This book was like 15 bucks and I was pretty happy. I was really happy to talk to him. And the reason I was really happy to talk to him was because he is a really good salesman, which is uh, not normal for Artist Alley. Uh, in Artist Alley, people tend to kind of zone out and just kind of, uh, just kind of like, just, just, you know, paint their own stuff and ignore people walking by. But he was really personable. He was talking to me. He was, you know, giving me information and, and, and just stuff like, he was really taking the initiative and actually being a, a, a good seller. And I really appreciated that. That's why I bought this. I also bought it because it's, you know, just great overall. I'll put, like I said, everybody's name will be in the description uh, for what I looked at. So don't worry about it if we go by a quick. This one, Chris Sanders. Chris Sanders is, I've been following him for a long time. He's really good at drawing women. Uh, just, just a great little book. Uh, it was about 15 bucks as well. And even has like a little fold out in it. I thought this thing was like the perfect size in terms of just to carry around to like look at. So that that really sold me. He's got like a few sketchbooks. Really great, really great design. Really good. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, this one. This one's another. Uh, I think the uh, little little book sold in Artist Alley. Uh, I don't. Where's the artist's name? Emonic. Did this person not put their name on it? Maybe that's their pen name, I guess, emonic.net. So I'll put that in the description. Uh, they didn't put their real name though. That's kind of interesting. Really cool. We're gonna sketchbook more of a monster style. This is really similar to my style. It's really inspirational. So when I went to Comic-Con this year, that was kind of my mission. My mission was to get uh, you know, a variety of sketchbooks from the artists themselves, you know, and like talk to them. So that was, uh, you know, that paid off great. This one I thought was really cute. You know, it's a totally different vibe. It's Cute Animals uh, by Derwin and Gouin. I don't know, I guess it's two people. Really cute little inkings of animals. And this was a remarkably inexpensive book. I think each of them was five bucks. And so I was like, I gotta buy both. Like, really, really cute. Both of them are really cute. I'll put the website in the description. Anybody I show you here, if you guys go, uh, you know, find them or, or please uh, tell them how you found them. Tell them that you found them through me. Ha! It's really funny. Guinea pig. Like Pokemon. Really great. 
really great, beautiful little inkings. Uh, what else? I thought this one was really cool. This one's Burrito Gun. It's a collection of sketches by Ben Seto. A uh, couple of reasons I got this. It's just pretty and I like the drawings in it. But the other thing I liked about it was uh, the kind of the way it's binded over here. It's a good quality book. And another thing I look for, and I, I do this with my regular books. Another thing I, lo I look for is I look for like a, a good quantity of art. You know, this is 20 bucks and I normally that's more than I normally spend, but I thought there was enough sketches in it. You know, there's quite a bunch of them that it's like, this is worth it. So that's why I spent the 20 on it. These are really pretty. And the value to me is just like seeing great art and, you know, being inspired. There's obviously watercolor. I'm gonna show you the whole thing, right? Cause then that would be kind of like, you know, <laughs> against the thing. That'd be like defeating the purpose. But that's a good one. I'll have that in the description. This one uh, is another one directly from the artist. Soft candy. Uh, I, I've been working a lot more on drawing women. Uh, and so like, that's why I got the book. I mean, again, two reasons for the book. The same reasons as before. Uh, this book, look at this thing. It's a hardcover. This thing is a hardcover book. Like, holy cow. You know, this is great. And this is 20 bucks. It was the same as that other one. And the other one is good quality as well. But this is like a hardcover book. This is like legit. And she was just there selling it. And I was like, wow. And there's tons of sketches in here. I'm gonna see how many pages are in this. It's like 200, let me see. Maybe like, like almost 200 pages. I thought that was like, whoa, this is totally worth a buy. You know? I thought that was great. So hopefully I don't put like hopefully I don't have to put like a warning on it. You know, there's obviously some nudity in the book, but I mean it's it's all very tasteful, it's very pretty. But that that book's amazing. It's by Danny Shinya Lu. Danny Shinya Lu. Reminder, everything will be in the description. Um uh, over here. This is not an artist alley book. This is a book I got half off because we were talking about the Comic Con haul I had. And I thought this is a great little book. It's called Hinges. I haven't read it. I think what attracted me to it was uh, there's so little text in it and I really wanna see how people tell stories visually only without so much text. And I thought the coloring was pretty amazing. And so th those two things really, like I really needed to buy it. Haven't read it yet, so I'm just gonna skip through it. It's called Hinges by Meredith McCla McLaren. I don't remember how much this was. I think this was a half off booth. So I think that I got this for like seven bucks. It's amazing, right? This is Dukes. I got this at a booth uh, that was like a, kind of a bookstore. So it was not from the artist, but the art is uh, from Mel, Mel Milton. Another, another sketchbook. Uh, great for women, for female drawings. Drawing females. Great for drawing females. It's uh, you know, really good. Just, just really, really amazing stuff. I wish that was a little more high res than that one. There's a couple. There's a couple of issues I think in this one with some uh, resolution, but most, most, uh, almost like 95% of it's great. Like that, that could be a little more high res. Uh, that's Dukes. My art by Mel Milton. I also got, sorry, I'm just gonna like rapid fire through these. I know that this could become long and boring, but a lot of these are books I recommend. They're, not, they're I mean, everything in the video I recommend. So uh, hopefully they're just considered tiny little shout outs throughout, throughout the whole video. Uh, this one is FSD Works. It's kind of an interesting pattern because I thought it was a large pamphlet, but it's too thick. It was like a book. I got it for about 10 bucks. And it's a variety of different artists, I believe from a school. Art variety is like also something that really sells me in books, you know, when you have like a compilation of different things. I think this one might be on Amazon as well. I'll, I'll check. Any, anything's on Amazon, again, I know you're getting sick of me hearing that, but everything will be description wise on in my, I'm sorry, everything will be information wise in the description. Oops. This one. 
Uh, it's called The Dream of Butterfly. I thought that looked really cool. It kind of reminded me of uh, Spirited Away. I got this at a half-off booth, and I just thought the comic looked really cool. Just amazing coloring. Again, I haven't read this, so I can't quite give a synopsis or anything, but I thought this was just so beautiful I could not not buy it, you know? I just had to buy this. And it was, uh, I believe, half off 13, so it was like six something. And then this will be the last one I'm gonna show you in my haul. It's Accidental Aliens Anthology. Really great book. It's uh, a, a several different artists uh, came together to do this. And so like every, uh, I, I forget how many artists they show. It's, I think it's like one, two, three, four, like five, I think. They had a Kickstarter campaign as well. And they came together and they, you know, told different uh, little stories within one. I haven't actually read it yet. I've just been flipping through the art. The art's really good. So go check that out as well. I'm not gonna show you the whole thing because that's really great. Also super, super nice cover. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you guys, oops, let me put some down because it's gonna, uh, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any cool little books, as always, to recommend me, recommend them in the description below. Uh, if you guys actually end up buying any of these books or going out to like say hi to the artist or something or follow, the, or follow that artist on Instagram, uh, do me a huge favor and tell them you found them through me. Uh, I wanna maybe start giving little shout outs and maybe start connecting with the channels more. Uh, in terms of art wise. So thanks a lot guys. I appreciate you staying around this long. Hit that subscribe button. If you stayed this long, hit that subscribe and hit that like. Uh, I will talk to you in the next video and I will see you guys soon.